Imagine transforming your health using Sam Ovens School. I'm setting out to do just that, and I'm going to let you know how you can too. First, I want to give you a little bit of context. So, so my name is Candace, and I am a functional and naturopathic medicine doctor with over 18 years now of clinical experience. Over that time, I've worked with an estimated 5,000 plus clients. So I've seen a few things. I have a good sense of what it's like working within the insurance-based model of healthcare. And lately, I've been wondering a lot, reflecting a lot about the future of healthcare, because I don't think the current model is sustainable. And I personally, my opinion, I don't believe it's in the highest service to especially individuals with chronic health conditions. If you have a heart attack, you get into a car accident, absolutely. The first place you want to head to is the hospital. But for chronic health conditions often lifestyle-based conditions, I don't think it's in higher service to us. So I started asking myself, how can we shift from treating illness to creating health? How can we shift from treating illness to creating health? And I set out to answer that question. Now to do so, I drew inspiration from three key models or frameworks. One is the flywheel concept. So the flywheel concept is often used in business to describe a process that once initiated gains momentum and sustains itself with increasing effectiveness. It becomes a cycle of positive reinforcement and continuous growth. The network effect is a similar concept. The idea that with each new addition to the system, the value of the system grows exponentially. Now, from a business perspective, Amazon and Facebook, regardless of how you feel about them, are examples of these concepts. So each time a product is added to the Amazon marketplace, for example, the monetary value of the marketplace grows. Each time someone signs up for a Facebook account, the value of the social platform grows. It's a positive sum game. The second concept that I drew inspiration from is spiral dynamics, which is a psychological and conceptual framework for understanding the evolution of human consciousness and values. It's based on the work of psychologist Claire W. Graves. So it suggests that there is a series of stages, each characterized by a distinct set of values and worldviews or ways of thinking. Now, the stages that I was most intrigued or interested by are the top three. One is called green, and it's basically more community driven. The second is the yellow stage, which is more systems driven, integrative. And the highest is turquoise, which is holistic and more global thinking. And then finally, the third model I drew inspiration from is the community model. Humans aren't meant to be lone islands. We're social beings, and there is a distinct advantage to being around like-minded people who share similar values as you do with a shared collective mission or goal. And I would even take it a step further than that and say being around people that are vibrating at a similar frequency to you or perhaps even a higher frequency than you, is extremely beneficial. There is safety in that. There is evolutionary possibility and growth in that. And it allows for a ripple effect to happen as well, because each person who then shares his or her gifts with the community helps to strengthen the community itself. We each have different skill sets, different gifts, and therefore can benefit from other skill sets and gifts when we belong in that community. Just the sense of belonging is valuable in and of itself, especially in our current culture where loneliness is epidemic. So I asked myself, how could the best parts of each of these three frameworks be combined and applied to create a new model of healthcare? 
to create a self-sustaining, continually improving system where each component not only contributes to the whole, but also enhances its overall effectiveness over time. And that's how I came up with the idea for the quantum health revolution, transforming healthcare through community and personal empowerment, a spiral flywheel, if you will. So here's how it works. Here are the key components to this quantum health revolution model. The first is community engagement and growth. So as more people join the community, their participation and interactions add value for everyone involved. Each new member brings their unique experiences and insights enriching the community. This peer-to-peer -peer support and shared learning create a more dynamic and valuable experience for all members, encouraging further engagement and potentially attracting more members in turn. The second component is what I call Mountain View Mentorship. So here I use the analogy of each person climbing their own mountain to describe walking alongside each other on our health journeys. So it's not hierarchical, it's not patriarchal, it's more like, okay, I'm climbing my mountain over here, and from my vantage point, I can see that there may be an obstacle in your path that you can't see right now. Maybe you should head in this direction, and vice versa. You could see things that maybe I can't see. So people don't really care. What I found is that people really don't care about the initials at the end of my name or what certifications I have. What they do care about is that I've had my own chronic health struggles and overcome them. They care that I get it. I know what it's like, for example, to suffer from severe debilitating social anxiety and depression. I know what it's like to experience trauma and its impact on health. I've had those experiences and I'm here to bring those lessons back to my community to share what I've learned because it may help someone else in a similar situation. And recognizing at the same time, full well, even with all my years of clinical experience, I am not an expert or a guru, nor have any desire to step into those roles or definitions. I could tell you what I've seen work for myself and the people that I've worked with. Likewise, you have your own invaluable experience and lessons, which are equally valuable to be shared with the community. It doesn't matter if you don't have certain initials at the end of your name or certain certifications. You are the expert of you and your body and your experience in this life, and that is invaluable. So logistically, how this looks inside the community is weekly open office hours and biweekly workshop trainings. These regular interactions and learning opportunities keep the community engaged and provide continuous value. Over time, the evolving needs and feedback of the community can then inform these sessions so that they become more tailored and more valuable. The next component is what I've called the quantum health creation blueprint. This signature process provides a structured approach to health creation, guiding members through their journeys. As members progress and share their experiences, we gain insights and refine and enhance the blueprint, making it more effective for future members. It's kind of like our Bible, but it's not set in stone. It's a living document. The next component is the creation codex. People do not need more information. They are overwhelmed by the wealth of information as it is. What they do need is a way to synthesize, to filter out the information that is most applicable to them, that is in most service to them. And that's where the creation codex comes in. So it's a resource library, uh, a resource of wisdom, collective wisdom, that becomes richer over time as more content is added, specific content. So the growing repository of knowledge becomes a more valuable asset for both current and future members, enhancing the learning and development opportunities within the community. 
It's a positive sum game that we're playing by structuring our community so that the addition of each new member enhances the value for all. We create a positive sum game. There's no such thing as losing or failing. The community doesn't just grow in size, but perhaps most importantly in quality with each new member's contributions enhancing the overall experience. And it's a sustainable model. Our model aims to avoid the limitations of traditional healthcare setups by focusing on an online community with an in-person component, we could scale our services without sacrificing quality, unlike the funnel model of the insurance-based system where quality can diminish with scale. I witnessed this in my own practice at a certain point when and if I added one more client to my workload, either the quality of the service I was delivering was going to start to become affected and diminish or the amount of time that I had to see each client had to diminish. There was a limit, a very, very real ceiling of service that was reached inside that old model that's based on insurance. The reverse is true in this new model of service. There is no ceiling. Another component, uh, the part that I think is probably most important is self-empowerment and self-improvement, inner efficacy. The community empowers its members to take an active role in their health journeys. It's about recognizing you as a sovereign being. This empowerment creates a virtuous cycle where improved health outcomes feed back into the community, inspiring and educating others. Now, I created another video, which I'll link to in the description, about how even holistic health services and holistic coaching can be disempowering to clients. I was guilty of this in my past years as well. So I speak from uh, experience. And in that video, I describe what needs to change to support self-empowerment, self-actualization, and inner efficacy in clients to get them, to help get them to a place where they don't need the practitioner or so-called expert anymore. I mean, what a concept. Members remain active participants in the community, not because they need to, but because they want to. So the quantum health revolution model, in my opinion, reflects a spiral flywheel in its design to gain momentum and effectiveness as it grows with each component, like the community, learning, shared resources, and self-empowerment, synergistically contributing to and benefiting from the others. Not only that, it aligns with the principles of spiral dynamics and the evolution of human consciousness. And I'll speak to that briefly here. So as I mentioned, I had a particular focus on three of the stages in spiral dynamics. So I wanted the model to align with green stage, with the green stage, which is uh, a community focus. So the green stage values community, shared responsibility and egalitarianism. Our model fosters a sense of community where members support each other and celebrate shared successes. That aligns with the green value of communal well-being. The other piece in the green stage is emotional health and empathy. So the green stage emphasizes emotional depth and empathy. empathy. And our model by offering a supportive environment, a safe space for emotional expression and mutual understanding that is trauma informed caters to these needs. And then the third piece that's important in the green stage and aligning with it is holistic, uh, taking a holistic approach. So green thinkers often prefer holistic approaches to health, considering physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions. Our quantum health creation blueprint and the creation codex provide resources that address all of those multiple aspects of health. The second stage that I wanted the model to align with is the yellow stage. 
So here we have systems thinking. The yellow stage is characterized by a systems-based integrative approach. Our models incorporation of various health dimensions, physical, mental, emotional, social, environmental, spiritual, reflects that holistic and interconnected understanding of health. The other piece in the yellow stage is flexibility and adaptability. So yellow values adaptability and functionality. Our community model with its evolving resources and responsive structure like open office hours, the workshop trainings, embodies this flexibility. Asynchronous communication is uh, another part of this. And then the third component of the yellow stage and aligning with the yellow stage is self-actualization. So yellow thinkers seek self-actualization and personal growth. The health journey in our model is self-directed. It's modeled after the hero's journey, empowering members to take charge of their health, aligning with the yellow stage's emphasis on self-actualization. And finally, turquoise stage alignment. So this is the highest stage in spiral dynamics. One key piece is taking a global and holistic perspective. So the turquoise stage involves thinking in global and holistic terms. Our model's emphasis on the interconnectedness of various health aspects, as I've mentioned, aligns with us. There's a piece um, around collective consciousness. Turquoise is about the collective good and a higher consciousness. So by fostering a community where each member's growth benefits the whole and where there's a shared journey towards better health, our model mirrors those turquoise values. And the third component is being in harmony with nature and life. Emphasizing the balance with nature and broader life systems, our health model, especially through its natural and holistic health approaches, resonates with the turquoise's stage and its desire for harmony with the whole natural world. So in essence, this healthcare community model creates an environment where individuals at the green, yellow, and turquoise stages of evolution can find resonance with their values and worldviews. It supports the green's need for community and holistic health, caters to the yellow's desire for systems thinking and self-actualization, and aligns with the turquoise's aim for global consciousness and harmony. And last, but certainly not least, perhaps maybe what you've been waiting for, it is based on the community model. And that's where school comes in. School, I view as the catalyst. So Sam Ovens created school with the flywheel concept in mind. The platform itself is very eloquent, simple, and intuitive to use. Essentially, no learning curve, if you know very small which makes it accessible to just about anyone it easily allows us to create and build a community informed by the models that i just described create a safe space for members within the community that have this common mission to grow and evolve together to build it allows us to build out the creation codex our collective wisdom library in its classroom tab and do all of that without the typical distraction that comes with other social media platforms who will remain nameless. It's ad-free, it's drama-free. So I'm going to go so far as to say health and community are intertwined. Community is necessary for health and health is necessary for a strong community. Imagine creating your health, your highest version of health, in a way that feels empowering, free, and joyful. We're going to use school, powered by the school games, to do just that. Now, I'll be documenting every step of our adventure in the school games and the evolution of this quantum health revolution model and the creator, the health creator's collective community itself. From the challenges we face to the breakthroughs we achieve. So stay tuned to this channel if you like to follow along. Beyond that, I invite you to heed your own call to adventure. 
I feel like we're on the cusp of an extraordinary journey. So if this something if this is something that is resonating with you that you're feeling called to do, don't just watch from the sidelines. Join us. Come play the game with us. So remember, it's a positive sum game. There's no such thing as losing. It's an opportunity to transform your health and an opportunity to join a movement where we're shaping what it means to be healthy. I'd love for you to join us. I'd be honored if you did. Let's create health together. Let's create a transformative journey together. So if you are interested, I'm going to leave the link below this video in the description. I invite you to click on it and I'll see you on the inside.